Today we're going to be taking a look at a drop leg with a round foot plate for round trailer jacks. Drop legs are going to increase overall extension for maximum adjustability. It also allows you to not have to crank your jack as much in order to make contact with the ground. All you have to do is pull the pin, let the drop leg down, and then secure it back in place with the included pin and clip. Now this can save a lot of time and a lot of effort. It's also a great and cheaper solution when compared to an electric jack. It's great for trailers with weight distribution, and it keeps you from hauling around extra blocks of wood or bricks. This one is designed to work with trailer jacks with a two inch diameter inner tube. It's also got the indention that would line up with the indention in your trailer jack. It's gonna be made from a steel construction with a zinc plated finish, so it's gonna do a great job at resisting rust and corrosion. The foot plate is gonna be welded onto the bottom of the tube. If we take a measurement of the diameter of the foot plate, we can see that that's gonna give us a measurement of five and one quarter inches. So it's gonna do a great job at spreading out the applied weight, especially on softer ground to help prevent sinking. It also increases overall stability. The diameter of the tube is gonna measure one and three quarter inches. So again, it is designed to fit inside of a two inch diameter inner tube on your jack. This drop leg is gonna feature five adjustment holes. The distance between each hole is gonna be two inches, center on center. So it's gonna give you a total or a maximum of up to eight inches when it comes to adjustment. I took a measurement from the center of the bottom pinhole to the bottom of the foot plate or to the top of our surface, and that gave us a measurement of one and five eighths of an inch. I also took a measurement from the center of the top pinhole to the bottom of the foot plate, and that measures nine and five eighths inches. These are the measurements that's gonna to add to your jack. If you were to take a measurement from the center of the jack pinhole at the base of the inner tube, you can measure down the distances I mentioned, and you can see how much distance or extension this is gonna to add to your trailer jack. And again, it can be adjusted in increments of two inches. The pinhole diameter is gonna measure 7 sixteenths of an inch, and then the actual diameter of the pin is gonna measure 3 eighths of an inch. Now I do have a trailer jack here today. I do wanna show you how this installs and how it functions. It's a really simple and easy process. All we have to do is line up the indentions, slide it on. Now when you're in um, motion or when you're in travel, I recommend securing the drop leg at the fully retracted position. So we're gonna line up the bottom pinhole, and then we're gonna place in our pin take it all the way through, bring our clip around, and secure it in place. Again, this is gonna be a good travel position because it reduces the amount of extension that we have on the bottom of our jack, which you don't wanna to have to worry about when you're on the road. When you get to your destination and you're setting up your trailer, um, to reduce the amount of cranking that you have to do, all you have to do is remove the pin, allow the drop leg to fall, then you can set it at its highest setting or anywhere you want in between the top and bottom holes. And then resecure it with the included pin and clip. So again, drop legs, they're going to increase overall extension, giving you maximum adjustability. It's going to save a lot of time and effort when it comes to cranking. And this is a great and cheaper solution when compared to an electric jack. That's going to do it for today's look at the drop leg with a round foot plate for round trailer jacks.